Now let, let's have a look at systems of two interacting objects. So, so far we have considered only the very simple case of a single object subject to a force. A single object subject to a force. However, now we want to look at two interacting objects. Okay? And whenever we have interacting objects, or a system of interacting objects, <coughs> we need to consider what are external forces and internal forces, okay, and how they influence, how they affect the system. Okay, so let us take a look at two cards. Actually, these are magnetic cards. Okay, or, or they're magnets. They're not cards. They're magnets. Okay, two repelling magnets. Okay, so um, because they are uh, have a magnetic field, there's, there are magnetic forces. So, cart one applies a force, a magnetic force on uh, onto cart two. That's called F one two. Can you see that? And cart 2 applies an equal and opposite force onto cart 1. It's called F21 and it's magnetic. It's a field force magnetic. However, at the same time, as these two forces are applying, uh, carts are applying forces on each other, you have an external force by somebody pushing on cart 1. Okay? Uh, so I hope that's clear. And so as this hand pushes, on cart one. Um, we'll get to the center of mass in a minute, but you can see the carts move and the center of, of mass moves. Okay, now let's analyze this quantitatively. Um, we know that the momentum of this cart system, the system, is momentum of cart one plus momentum of cart two. Okay, however, let's look at the change in the momentum. If we differentiate this momentum with respect to time, okay, we get this dp dt is equal to the instantaneous change of momentum, rate of change of momentum of cart 1 plus cart 2. And we know that what does this equal? This equals the sum of the forces acting on cart 1, and this equals the sum of the forces acting on cart 2. Okay, I hope we're all together still. Now let us simply look at cart 1 and analyze cart 1, and then let's look at cart 2 and analyze cart 2. What is happening to cart 1 here? If you had to draw a free body diagram of cart 1, what are the forces acting on cart 1? You've got F21, which is the, um, the force of, this car, of cart 2 acting on 1. And you've got the external force of the hand acting on cart 1. Okay? You've got these two forces acting on cart 1. And that's what we're saying here. The sum of the forces acting on cart 1 is this external force by the hand, and then the other force by the other magnet, the cart magnet, whatever you want to call it. Now what about force 2? The sum of forces acting on cart 2. That is... A, only the only force acting on cart 2 is the magnetic force from cart 1 so f12 and that's what we get there okay now if we uh, plug these back into the original equation we we have this f external plus f2 on 1 plus f1 on 2 but we know that this is the opposite, is equal and opposite to this one, right? So these cancel each other out. So we have the change in uh, the time rate of change of the momentum of the system of the system is simply equal to the external force being applied. Okay? So, equation 833 shows that the only external force exerted, shows that only the external force exerted on cart 1 changes the momentum of the system. The internal forces do not have any effect on the momentum of the system. 
Okay? So, I think you all know this, but this is very important. These internal forces do not change the momentum of the system. Only the external forces change the momentum. 